Allora, il ricamo per me è, è un'arte che può essere eh, industrializzata. Negli ultimi anni a fare un prodotto verticalizzato sull'abbigliamento. Cioè prendiamo il tessuto e eh, facciamo tutte le operazioni, svolgiamo tutte le operazioni internamente all'azienda, quindi taglio, eh, ricamo, stampa, cucito, applicazioni di strass, pietre, fino a consegnare al cliente eh, il prodotto eh, finito, imbustato. You're the employer. What they did here is actually very intelligent because the bag itself has a certain shape. They want to make sure to place it down on the garment production line to fit exactly where it's supposed to go to perform this embroidery. So you can see that they've already done a pre-stitch on the backing, a pre-embroidery that shows the exact outline of where it should be placed. And then over here, it shows where the embroidery lines are going to be placed on the actual product. In this case, It's 15,840 stitches. It's a lot of embroidery for such a little bag. 35 anni fa, da un'idea dei miei genitori. So right now we're working with an automatic screen printing machine. In this case, I believe it's a 12 head. So the ink has been added onto this screen. The screen is already burnt with the logo that they're trying to imprint onto the fabric. And over here, it's being printed on. In this case, they're doing a two-layer print. So there's multiple machines working to print it multiple times. So as the ink passes twice, it swings on to the next head where it starts drying off. If we follow around the machine, it's actually being cured. So you can see that this machine is flashing it with heat, which helps cure and dry the print. So that by the time it comes back around, It could be printed again in a fully dry state. Allora, questa è una giostra serigrafica che stampa fino a sei colori, oppure può stampare anche in quadricromia. Questa macchina riesce a stampare anche 400 capi l'ora. Ok. I've never seen this machine before, actually. Questo è un macchinario per mettere il primer sul tessuto. It's making the fabric a little bit moister. I think the goal is for the ink from the digital printer to adhere much better to the fabric. The previous step is extremely important because in this particular case, it's a very colorful graphic that's being printed onto the fabric. And since there's such a mixture of colors, it really needs to adhere well to that fabric. So you need to make sure to prime the fabric properly. And look, as we can see, it comes out extremely colorful, extremely crisp, and that's a really high quality digital print. What do you look for in a customer? Sicuramente una clientela medio alta, come quella che abbiamo già. Chiaramente il mercato americano per noi è ancora tutto da scoprire. Che cosa c'hai sotto? Francesco is very nice today because uh, he doesn't have any production for lasering, but he's starting up the production just for us. We're going to get to see in real time what that looks like. So right now they're just queuing up something on the software. That's going to run up to over here, which is the design we see here, this left panel for the sneaker. We're very, very lucky today because he's doing this with the top open. Obviously they do this with the top closed when they're in production, but he's willing to let us do that because the ventilation is good enough in here and he wants us to get a really cool shot, so it's appreciated. So we get to see in real time what the lasering looks like. Sopra ci andiamo a ricamare in all over per creare una tomaia. Ah, ok. So there's a few things going on here right now. They're actually embroidering panels for footwear. So what we saw upstairs, the laser cutting, is the first step where they take the fabric and they cut out the panels that they need. Over here, they're actually embroidering them. In this particular case, the customer, a very high-end brand, is seeking for them to recreate the fabric-like texture of beach bags. So that's the embroidery that's going back and forth, and that's actually all being machine done. Typically, the fabric would be woven that way for much larger items, 
But when you're working with such small, intricate items, it's much cleaner when it's embroidered. And we can see in real time what's going on on the computer. So it's moving at 800 stitches per minute. In total, there's gonna be 15,892 stitches for this job. I'm trying to figure out how many stitches, here we go. It's at 51,000 out of 100,000. <laughs> it's an extremely intricate design. The other thing you'll notice is that there's two embroideries happening on the same piece of fabric. This piece of fabric is gonna come out of production here, it's gonna be cut and then sewn onto whatever garment is being made. So they're able to produce two units at a time, but they need a really large head machine in order to make an embroidery that's that large. 100,000 punti, 20 colori diversi. How long does it take to do something like this? Circa um, 4 hours. 4 hours to do this full embroidery. What keeps you motivated to come every day and keep putting out such high quality products? Ma sicuramente da, da una continua ricerca di e voglia di fare qualcosa di nuovo. Questa voglia la, la, la troviamo ovunque, dalla natura o da, da tutto quello che troviamo attorno e anche dagli stimoli che ci danno i clienti perché ed è sempre costruttivo vedere, ascoltare qualcuno che ti porta qualcosa. Anytime you see a wheel like this, which is something we've been seeing a lot of the embroidery factors in Italy, oftentimes it'll be sequins, stuff like this. They're actually doing rhinestones. So we can see all of the holes over here. It's gonna extract the rhinestones from there. And there's a little thread attaching each rhinestone, which is what's gonna actually go into the fabric. In this case, they're doing it directly on backing. Pay close attention to how much slower this embroidery machine is moving as compared to the other ones. When you're working with sequins, when you're working with rhinestones, it has to be careful to ensure it properly adheres and pierces through the fabric. If you go way too fast, especially at the speed that these machines are going out, which is like 800 stitches per minute, it's gonna be a complete mess. Stones are gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be a lot to clean up. It's much slower for production. It's much more costly but it gives a great result. Ci sono dei, dei, dei per, per, per le minime quantità ci sono dei costi di impianto da pagare, però siamo intorno ai 100 pezzi. Per i ricami a mano invece, gli intrecci, eh, la raffia, quella roba, la, possiamo partire anche da 50 pezzi. And she's actually weaving together this bag in crochet style. And this is all done by hand. One by one. Questo è un anno dove bisogna resistere. No, non abbiamo grosse aspettative. Quindi dobbiamo resistere e tenere duro fino al prossimo anno perché siamo pronti per grandi sfide. This is the Italy Factory Tour 2024. Shout out to Fed who made this all happen. He uses this embroidery to make these t-shirts right here. Thank you so much Francesco. Grazie a te. Riyadh is the Factory Tour. Italy 2024 and we're out. We're out.